Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, and this is episode 125. So when I left you off in one episode 124, that was my part one of my how to configure and install remote desktop services web access within the server Windows Server 2008 R2 version. Now, on part two, I'm going to show you guys how to import and enable a digi digital certificate in IIS 7, and as well as get yourself up and running and show you what is remote desktop services. So, first thing that we want to do is if you guys follow me in my part one, you basically rebooted your machine and you got up to this point. Got a lot of warnings, but we're going to fix those warnings up. So let's close this up. And I'm going to just close this because I don't need that now. We're going to go to start. We want to go to administrative tools and we want to go into the Internet Information Services Manager, which is your IIS manager. Excellent. I'm going to make this a little bigger. You want to select your server name and you want to go into the server certificates okay from here you can either create a certificate request or complete a request or import a certificate what I'm going to do is create a self-signed certificate I'm going to give it a name of web server got it press OK bam that's it Okay, very short, very simple. I'm basically creating my own certificate, self-signed. Got it? Now, to enable the certificate, right-click on your default web website, your default website, right-click. And we want to go into edit binding. Right. And then uh, select your HTTPS because your remote desktop services is running on an HTTPS. Okay, you want to go to edit. And we want to add our certificates. Press OK. Excellent. Do that. Let me see one more time. OK, that's excellent. Press OK. Press OK. Good. Now, next thing that you want to do is you want to restart the website. Now, to restart the website, you can click on your website, default website. Uh, your default website actually has the RD web. Okay, that's actually your remote desktop services. So I'm going to click restart. And sometimes I don't really trust that restart. So what I do is I actually go into the command prompt. All right? I'm going to right click on this. I want to run it as an administrator. And I am going to do an IIS reset forward slash no force. I like doing it this way because uh, I basically see it's attempting to stop. And then once it stops, it starts. You know, yeah, sue me. Uh, let's exit out of there. That's that's looking pretty good. Awesome. Now, next thing that you want to do is we're gonna close this, and we're gonna go to start. We're gonna go to all programs. No, not all programs. Administrative tools. And within administrative tools, you got a new folder called Remote Desktop Services. Now, the one that you want to do is Remote App Manager. Click on that bad boy. Once that loads up, you're going to see all kinds of crazy warnings around here. Oh my gosh. Now, everything that needs configuring will have a yellow warning triangle, duh, or a red cross over it. First, we will see it's complaining that there is no computers in the TS Web Access Computer Group, as you can see right here. So, what we're going to do is, uh, that's just a local group on your server itself. And we're basically going to launch your server manager. We are going to go into configuration. We're going to expand configuration. We're going to go to local users and groups. We're going to expand this, go to groups. And the one that you want is your TS Web Access Computers. Got it. And what do you want to add here? Well, I'm going to add my domain computers. All my domain computers will have access to this. Excellent. Press OK and OK and apply OK, I mean, and press X. Now, back to the remote app manager. Now, click the RD session host server setting on the menu on the right. What do I mean? Right here, RD 
session host server settings. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the public name, which would be the CN, which is your computer name or in your digital certificate, is not is displayed. Not the local FQDN, which is your frequent, your fully qualified domain name on the server. You can also tick options shown uh, to display the RDE shortcut right here, which I, I want to do that. That's pretty cool. And that's about it. That's about it. I'm going to press OK on this. And I'm going to OK on that. That's looking, that, look, that, that looks pretty cool. And the next thing is, the next step, you need to have the applications you want to get to your users actually install on the server. So what I did was, I believe I installed a program already in here. Oh, and I didn't install a program. Oh, blah. Okay, so I'm going to go in my server manager. I'm going to download a quick program and that uh, none of my servers have. But I need to do something first because this is a pesty little thing that I really hate. Let me turn this off. So then you get that whole security dialog box to always constantly pop up. So I'm going to go start, go to IE. And then uh, let's go to our, f our good friend Google. And I'm going to download Notepad++ because Notepad is an awesome tool. Everyone loves Notepad. So go to Notepad++. Again, I'm just going to download a random application, install it. Uh, should have had that already installed. Install, and we're going to run it as is. Shouldn't take that long. Okay, so remote desktop service is what it is. Let's say you're real lazy, you have a bunch of users that use the same applications, but you don't want to install it. You, you don't have access to SCCM, or you, you all the machines on the floor are very old, and you don't want to re-image them. This, this is a special program that everyone uses. You can actually install it on the server where remote desktop services is in, and provide this link to everyone in, in your office and that's it they have access to that application on the fly which is pretty cool I'm gonna run it for the first time make sure that you run the application make sure that the application runs with no problem on the desktop side and uh, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna add it so the way that you add it is you add a remote app program Follow the wizards, real self-explanatory. You get a list of all the applications that you have on the web server. I want the notepad one to be distributed. Hit next, hit next, and you're done. Okay? Now, what you want to do is, now, make sure there's no red or yellow warnings. Close the app manager, or you can click the refresh. I'm going to hit the refresh. Make sure everything is green, green, green. But I got a, I got a warning. The warning is basically the digital signature setting. So I'm going to change it. And from here, sign with a digital certificate. Change it. And the one that I want to use is the web server. That's the one I want because that's the self-signed one that I created. Press apply. Press OK. All green check marks. Awesome. So, <sighs> time to test this bad boy out. So you guys can see how it looks. So I'm actually on my domain controller. I'm gonna go to all start all programs. As you can see, I don't have Notepad++ installed. Uh, you will see it here, or you will go to all programs. You see it on all Notepad++. I don't have it. So I'm gonna go into my internet browser, and within my internet browser, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do HTTPS. Say one more time, HTTPS. The name of your server, mine is bj-rdp, remote desk, remote desk, uh, remote desktop protocol, forward slash rd web. Hit enter. There we go. Looking good. You want to continue to the website? This is looking good. Let's log in. I think I did create a account. Uh, what's the pass? I don't even know what the password was. Was it that? 
Awesome, so I'm already in. Looks like there's a couple of complications with the icon, but I can fix that a little later. Let's double click on this and see if it launches up. And when it launches up, you get this little awesome little dialog box. You can read it, hit connect. Uh, you're gonna authenticate yourself one more time. Make sure that uh, it's you. Press OK and give it some time. And Notepad++ should be up and running as if you have the Notepad++ installed on that physical machine. But it's really not installed in the physical machine. It's actually installed inside your remote desktop services machine. So again, it only takes a while. Again, I'm actually running everything on a virtual machine, running everything on a crazy little network. Uh, but it's it's pretty slow in my part. But most likely for a production part, it's not going to be slow for you guys. So let's see if it launches. Looks like it's going to launch. I'm going to minimize this. And there you go. Notepad++ has launched. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. You can actually install Microsoft Office on... On the, on the server and launch Microsoft Office to all your employees. Uh, you can take care of the licensing part and the licensing server side. But that's about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this episode. Uh, please leave comments and leave uh, some thumbs up for me. And at the very top, there is a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software. And also, don't forget about gaming. I catch you guys later. Thank you.